Hey, what's up? Uh, Faizan here from Research Beast. Um, on this channel, I share different tips and tricks for researchers, different motivational talks, and I also talk to experts about the research methods or anything related to research. So if you are interested in content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hello everybody, my name is Faizan Ali. As you know, I'm an assistant professor at the College of Hospitality and Tourism Leadership, University of South Florida. I'm also affiliated with M3 Center for Innovation in Hospitality and Tourism. Now you know about my channel, which is research based on YouTube. I bring different tools and um, tricks and tips for researchers who can use different type of tools for making the research journey much more easier, much more valuable. So um, in this video series, I'll be um, uh, doing tutorials using M plus, which is a software for structural equation modeling. I've invited a good friend of mine, Dr. Rab Nawaz Lundi from um, University of Central Punjab in Pakistan. Uh, he will be the facilitator for these videos. He'll be using uh, easy language, easy to use um, examples so that you can understand how you can use M plus for conducting SEM or structural equation modeling. Uh, mediation, moderation, and all those type of things. So stay tuned. Um, just one uh, quick clarification. The videos will be bite-sized videos, like smaller videos. So if you're watching this video, make sure that you um, look for other videos in the playlist because you might find some other useful things um, that you can do using Amplus. Thank um, you. Hello, everybody. I um, hope you are doing well from wherever you are joining. Today, we have Dr. Rab Nawaz Lodhi with us. He is an associate professor at University of Central Punjab Business School, uh, University of Central Punjab in Lahore, Pakistan. Um, and he teaches several courses related to MBA, MS, and PhD programs. And Dr. Lodi here has vast, ex vast experience in conducting workshops and trainings for multiple research methods related stuff, including many softwares like uh, Smart PLS and Vivo. Uh, and recently, uh, he started doing M plus as well. Um, Dr. Lowe, PhD is in management sciences, and um, his uh, specialization is in management information systems. Now, Dr. Lodi is also um, uh, heavily published, so he has published quite a good number of papers in different journals around the world. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Lodi, for joining us and um, giving your time uh, for this series on M+, and I hope that it will be beneficial for a wider audience around the world. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fazan, for inviting me. And uh, dear audience, uh, uh, thank you so much for watching these videos. And uh, uh, today uh, we are going to discuss uh, structure equation modeling using M plus software. So before going for the practical session on M plus software, I would like to share some of the important commands, uh, which are very important because uh, this software is not too much user friendly like uh, smart PLS software. So uh, you need to put the different commands and you need to run the commands uh, for the uh, estimation of your models. So I would like to share my, uh, uh, my uh, screen. And uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Fezan. Uh, this is my uh, association, my university and uh, my contact information. So I'm going to start. Uh, so what is M plus? M plus is a statistical tool for the analysis of quantitative data, both categorical and continuous uh, variables. So we can handle different types of variables like latent variable or unobserved variable. We can also handle the multi-level uh, analysis, multi-level modeling, the structuration modeling, and uh, uh, we can execute the different multivariate analysis. So there are different commands in M plus, uh, for example, title, data, uh, variable, model, analysis, and output. So if you want to uh, learn these commands, I should, uh, uh, I will recommend you people that uh, you should uh, make uh, the abbreviation of all these commands, TDVMAO. So this is the simplest way to uh, learn and to memorize the different commands of M plus software. 
so now i would like to discuss one by one the first command is title command so how we can mention the title command in ampla software we need to put the title and uh, after uh, uh, this particular command title you need to put the colon then you put the colon after understand that uh, you have just mentioned the command of m plus software so its color will become blue so after giving the command you need to pro provide the title for example if you are going to uh, apply this text equation modeling so you need to put the title text equation modeling you can also give the title uh, of, from your area of interest or or the topic of your research so this is the title of your analysis so after providing the title uh, you just mention the semicolon so it indicates that you have finished the command so this particular command title command allows you to give the title of your project for example if you are going to apply the cfa or efa or multi level modeling or mediation or moderation you need to give the title according to the analysis type so this is the first command and uh, this is the syntax of a particular command so moving toward the next command in m plus software uh, that is the data command so this command allows you to give the information about the name of your data file and its location so one thing you should keep in mind there are two types of m plus files one file is input file and the second file is uh, output file so you need to save the input file on a particular location in your computer system so when you execute the model software automatically generate the output file so software also replicate whatever you mention in the input file software also replicate in the output file so this particular file is generated by the software output file but this particular file uh, is generated by the data analyst like you and if you are going to analyze your data you need to create the input file so while you are going to create the input file you need to save this file on a particular location in your computer system so i will recommend you strongly recommend you uh, you should save that particular input file on the location where your data is already saved so uh, if the location is the same location of the input file number 1 and location of your data file like the data of your survey like the data uh, you enter in spss software and later on you create or you make the file which should be acceptable in m plus software so that is the data file so you need to put the data file and input file in the same location so then uh, if you put both the files in in the same location that then uh, you need to give the very short command like uh, this particular command okay this is very shortest command that uh, you need to give the command data colon software will understand that uh, you have provided the command and its color will become blue so after providing this particular command you need to put file is equal to like scm this is the file data file name and dat extension which is acceptable in m plus software so uh, this is the shortest way to give this particular data command so if your input file and data file both files are saved in the different locations then you need to write the particular location like uh, this in this way you need to put the path so in this way you can give the path and ultimately you give uh, you, uh, you locate the particular data file or location of that particular data file so i will recommend you that you should save the input file and the data file in the same locations so now after discussing this particular command we are moving toward the variable command so this particular command allows you to provide the name of the variable or the indicators of different constructs you are going to analyze in m plus software for example if i have these variables constructs like perceived uh, service quality and uh, perceived convenience and uh, perceived price so these are the three 
uh, constructs and uh, this one is also the fourth one uh, satisfaction and this is continuous intention to use so these are the constructs and uh, these are the different uh, indicators like uh, for perceived service quality there are seven indicators and for perceived convenience there are seven perceived price there are six indicators and satisfaction there are six and the continuous intention to use there are uh, six indicators to measure that particular construct. So when you are going to give this particular command, variable command, uh, you need to put the variable and uh, after giving uh, the variable, variable names are, you need to put variable names are. So this is very important and uh, I need to clear this screen. So this is particular command variable and when you write variable and colon it color will become blue and it will indicate that you have mentioned the particular command in m plus software so after providing the command you need to explain uh, the further detail like the variable names are these are the variable names so you need to put the variable name uh, and uh, this is the extension of this particular command variable command which is use variable r so use variable mean if you are using too much variables like the demographic variables, experience, gender, and so many other variables, but you don't want to use all those variables in M plus software for the analysis purposes. So then uh, you apply this particular use variables and you select only the variables which are going to be used in your analysis part. So for example, I have uh, these uh, variables like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are 5 total variables, but I am going to apply the analysis on only 2 variables, like uh, the first variable is perceived service quality, and the second one is perceived convenience. So, uh, after providing this detail, use variables, I have mentioned only the detail of 2 variables. It's been I'm going to analyze these two variables and I'm going to skip the analysis on this, these three other variables. So the first two variable I have selected for the analysis purposes. So this is basically the particular command, variable command, where you need to specify your indicators of different constructs or the variables. And uh, you need to tell the software that you are going to use for the further analysis. So after discussing this variable command, we are moving toward the model command. This is very important command, model command. And uh, this particular command, model command, allows you to provide the information about the measurement and relationship model to be estimated in structuration modeling technique. Because when you apply structuration modeling technique, there are two types of models, the measurement model and the relationship model we can also say the path model or the, uh, now what I'm going to mention here after providing this particular command model, its color will become blue and uh, then you need to provide the model commands. So uh, here there are some specific words. For example, by we use by words for the measurement model. For example, I'm going to create this particular construct and the construct name is perceived service quality. So I have provided PSQ, perceived service quality. How I'm going to calculate this perceived service quality? I'm going to calculate using these indicators, these items of that particular construct. So I use by command. This is particular by command. And this command is used for the measurement model. Similarly, I'm going to uh, I'm going to measure uh, perceived convenience. So I use by command. And after uh, giving this particular command, I, I have mentioned the different indicators of this particular construct. Similarly, for the satisfaction, I have used by command. So uh, these three uh, commands are relating to the measurement model, MM. Hey guys, if you, are think, if you think you are getting some value out of this video, please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, I would also appreciate if you can share this video within your, um, within your uh, social networks or within your networks of people that may need this video.
going back to the video. The audience, uh, I'm going to discuss the detail about the regression command. So if you want to apply the regression command, you need to provide on command. So uh, for the regression analysis, you need to put the name of the dependent variable first, and then you need to put the command on, and then you need to put the independent variable. So these are two IVs like perceived service quality is first IV, uh, perceived convenience is the second IV, and uh, satisfaction is the dependent variable. So uh, you can construct this model like this. This is the satisfaction, and there are two independent variable, perceived service quality, and the second one is perceived convenience. So you can put the arrows, and this these arrows will show the regression. Uh, so uh, this is the way to apply the command for the regression. So there is uh, there, there is another command uh, with this particular command is used to apply the covariance between the two items or the two constructs. So for example, if I uh, I'm going to take the covariance like uh, uh, between PSQ1 and PSQ2, I need to provide with command. And uh, one thing you should Keep in mind that after providing each command, we need to put the semicolon. So never forget to provide this particular semicolon. Otherwise, software will not accept your command. So this is with, uh, the particular command, model command, which is the most important command and uh, uh, which will tell the software what kind of model you are going to execute. Either you are going to execute the measurement model or you are going to execute the relationship model. So the next command is analysis command. So it will provide the type of analysis you are going to perform in M plus software. For example, if you are going to apply uh, the two level mean multi-level modeling, you need to provide two level. Otherwise, uh, you can provide general uh, analysis type, basic type. So uh, in this way, you provide uh, the analysis type and uh, there are uh, other information like uh, uh, MN, maximum likelihood ma method. Uh, so you can uh, also provide the detail of that particular analysis. So after providing the analysis command, uh, the last command is output command. So output command is the command which allow, allows you to provide your desired output, what you are expecting from M plus software, what you are going to see in the output file of M plus software. So you need to specify what kind of analysis you are going to run, what kind of, uh, what kind of outputs, what kind of test, like uh, the covariance, like the regression, like the modification indices. So all these kinds of things you need to mention in your output command. So in, in, uh, in different output commands, these are very comprehensive commands. For example, STD, YX, so this particular command covers a lot of things. And uh, so the uh, modifications, for example, if you're going, uh, uh, you going to give the command modification indices, so it will allow you to provide the detail of modification indices with the minimum value, minimum accepted value. Uh, and I have uh, mentioned that uh, uh, 10 is the minimum. Some, some uh, statisticians say that 10 is the minimum value. Some say that 15 is the minimum value. So I have mentioned the 10 value. So this is fine. Now, uh, these are all commands we have discussed in this particular video. So audience, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, we are going to, uh, we are going to, uh, okay, audience, we are going to uh, start uh, the practical session uh, of all these commands in our next video. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Dr. Fezan. Thank you very much, Dr. Lodi. Um, uh, this was a very good introduction to M+. Um, and as um, you mentioned, uh, we will stop the video here. And then for the next video, we'll be doing the practical step-by-step uh, -step, um, analysis using M+. So watch the next video if you want to learn more about M+. Thank you.